a show vlog for you because we're going to a show. So I am packed up. It's honestly, I'm just trailering in today. So it's a pretty chill, no fuss show, I would say. Plug in my phone. But obviously it's dark, so you can't really see me. Um, I do have my coffee ready to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the plan is we're gonna get to the barn, hook the trailer up, get the horses ready to load and then leave around let's say about 6 30 ish so i will see you guys when we get to the barn that bungee cord because this thing fell off. Let's see, let's cut this one on that side. But Get ready to get off the bed. Oh my god. That's what I started. I don't even know what she gets. Three fourths of strategy. Hi, baby. No, Tintin, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're gonna be so upset. These are adolescent horses. And then there's a seal back here. Hi, baby. Hey, go, buddy. Hi, baby. Good boy. Okay. So I got them fed. And now I need to put their leg wraps on. And. I need to put their leg wraps on. Just make sure I didn't forget anything and get the trailer ready. Okay. 
I am going to bring this for the show for Theo. And... just gonna switch the bit on this one and then my dressage saddles I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need while I'm there I've got the half pad my saddle wolf girths You want some hay, Papa? You laid in poop. So now I feel like I have to give you a bath. And yep, you're gonna poop in the cross ties. No, thanks. Thanks. Ready? You ready? Me just ready. All right, guys. We're going. We're going. We'll be right back.
<laughs> Wait a second. He's so cute. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. All right, handsome. Let's go. Oh boy. Really hard to do one handed. Oh, yummy! <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, baby. Oh, I know. You're so good. You got that alfalfa. You ready? Alright, now that I'm freaking sweating, I've got both. Uh, Theo and Renita loaded onto the trailer. I'm gonna finish my cold coffee, but I am on my way out and it's gonna take about 30 minutes to get there. I need to put the directions in now that I think about it. Dang it, I forgot my bridle rack. It's okay. So, the plan for today is to get everything organized. Um, Bobby's meeting me there at 8. Um, I don't know if Alex is even coming, but we'll see. Um, but we shall see. Alright, well, I will see you guys when I get there. Well, hello. I'm being a bad girl in the trailer. Yeah, I'm being bad in the trailer. Ugh. We're here. Hi, Dio. Hi, Dio, Dio. I'm gonna fix that man. It's a crazy man. Go crazy. You go, boy. You know, if you walk forward a little bit, you can eat, right? There you go. Now try. I'm gonna let you have some grass. No, I don't think she's tired. I think she's just... Relax. Yep. Relax, and she's starting to stretch through her back a lot better.
30 had a first run score of 70. In the row arena, coming in for their second into a rider, this is entry 305, smoke on the water, and a best paper is the right. And coming in for their second children's trip, and so this was our kind of like our first round so I was kind of treating this as a warm-up this was the jumper classic um, I think it's 2-9 uh, so I just went in she was so calm and so chill and just so freaking amazing and it just she it was different it was really it was different so I think our first jump was this oxer at the end of this outside leg. So this is like 9 o'clock Sunday night while I'm doing this voiceover, so I'm tired as usual. So she went over that one really, really nice. It's almost like she's kind of taking this like a hunter, and I'm really confused. <laughs> um, this is a bending line over to this rainbow single vertical. And then it's a roll back to this um, St. Louis Arches fence, and it's a Brody jump, so it's just like you just barely punch it, and it fell. So that one she just clipped with her front, and it, it like we barely touched it, and unfortunately it went down, so we didn't get to the jump off. Um, my trainer's camera was like sticking, so it was she was trying to zoom out and focus and it just wasn't working so um this class i think there was like 10 people in there and we got fifth um which i thought was really really good without even being able to make it to the uh to the jump off so um most expensive warm-up class ever and then make a left and walk please rider So this was our jumper, I think table one round, and this one, I don't know, we just knocked that one coming in, and then I was like, man, did we just knock that? And then I totally forgot where I was going, so I was like, well shit, do I just stop? Um, where do I go? And I was like, no, just ride around until you figure out where you're going. <laughs> so... That obviously counted as another fall, but then I remembered where I was going, and I was like, oh, yes, I remember now. So I pushed her on a little bit because she went in just a little lazy. She just was almost not woken up. Like, it was just interesting riding her, like, and she was so quiet, but... Um, that was the one that we had gotten down in the Jumper Classic. This is 0 .85, 0 .95. And she did, I mean, she was phenomenal at the show. I just was, she was so quiet that I was really confused on how to write her. So I'm happy with how she did this round. Um, it was only our second show, so we got a lot of good information about warming up and so on and so forth. So this was the last class, we only did three classes. Um, this was the speed round, and this first fence was a oxer. Got in a little bit deep, but that's okay. We're really working on me staying back and keeping my shoulders back because once we get to the higher fences, that's when they start clipping rails. Um, I lifted her a little bit going to that one, and then she was like, waiter, what jump are we doing? I was like, no, girl, you need to turn. <laughs> um, so she ended up keeping that St. Louis fence up, which was really nice. Um, got in a little deep to that one because I let my shoulders go down. I just need to learn to sit back and wait for her. She knows what she's doing. Like, she knows the distances. So that line was really nice. And then I started turning. And she had one little pop-up, but it was really good. 
got in to a pretty good distance there. And then there was a rollback to this cactus. And she was like looking down and I'm like, girl, you have a jump coming up. <laughs> like, she just, it was almost kind of like she was like a little bored. She was like, why are we jumping all these teeny tiny fences? So then she thought we were jumping that one again. And I was like, no. But otherwise she was really, really, really good. So this is, I think this is our warm up round maybe. I don't know, it's one of our hunter, hunter rounds. We did a warm up and then the hunter one and hunter two courses. Um, this is my first hunter class in a really long time. So it was the single to the single oxer. A little late on the change here, but otherwise the pace is really nice. He did so phenomenal this weekend, or this past weekend at the show. And then this was another single diagonal and he was gonna add, but then I pushed so it kind of gave him that weird little step and either way i'm happy with how how that one turned out he's pretty adjustable this line i thought was really nice i had to whoa a little bit get into that fence but not too much and then this was a diagonal bending line and it was a seven so we came around i loved that distance there and the seven came up really easy and he just he did so good. So, so good. Um, going to this other outside line, I think we chip here. Nope. Jumped it a little big, so I had to whoa into there. Put him a little bit deep, but he came out of it really nicely. And that was our hunt around there. Um, this was another hunter round. Oh my god, look at that drop. He's so good. Oh my gosh, he's so handsome. So, so good. I look horrible, though. <laughs> so, first fence is this little oxer. Little Ivy, this is three foot. Landed on the right lead that time. So we didn't have to do a change. In River, at the round, this is then we come around to we got a better distance to that one, but then we had to get the change. He was a little bit late on the change, but still got it. We're working on getting the changes before the corner. Had to woe into this one a little bit, but then we ended up coming out of it really nice. And then I think this neck, yep, this one started to turn and then he started to turn a little more so I had to correct. Landed on the left lead going to this and then come around to this outside line again. And I think we got in a little deep to this one. Yep, added on that one. This was a six, but he ended up coming out of it really nicely, so I'm really proud of him. So, this is another course. I don't know which course this was, but I think this is the one where we had a pretty big oops. We come around and this first fence was the diagonal single. Jumped it really big. <laughs> It just didn't have that great of a distance. Like I didn't come up to a good distance to it. And then it was the diagonal bending line. Jumped that one a little bit better. It was really great because he held the lead through it, even though it was a bending line. So that was awesome. And 
Good distance there. Really nice six. <laughs> and I think this is the fence that I, I, uh, I screwed up royally. I was trying to push to tell him to take the big distance, and I thought he was going to do it, and he was like, no, you're crazy, and saved my ass on that one. Um, any horse, any other horse probably would have refused that. I gave him every opportunity, but he's such an honest, solid boy. But yeah, that was the, the last course that we did. He was so good. All right, so it is the next day. I'm pretty <laughs> uh, late at finishing this show vlog, but I just wanted to come on and kind of wrap things up on how, how all the horses did. So we'll start with Theo. He got first place in the Open Hunter three foot in the first hunter round, second hunter round, and the flat class. So obviously that gave him champion, which was amazing. He did so, 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 so good. Um, he went around looking a lot more like schooled than he actually is, um, which was so fabulous. I'm so proud of him. And then um, Renita got, where? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Renita, so our first class we did, we were going to do the meter to meter 10, but um, I just, there was nobody in it and I didn't really care to jump her that height if like I wasn't actually like competing, you know? So I didn't just want to take her around that height just to take her around that height, you know? So my warm up class technically was the jumper classic, <laughs> um, which we went around and we like warmed up in the warm up ring over a couple fences, like walk, trot, canter. We didn't jump, I mean, more than maybe like two six in the warm up ring. So um, the jumper classic was two nine, I think. So we got fifth. I think there was nine or 10 people in there, which was really good considering we didn't even make it to the jump off. Um, she was honestly so calm and so collect, like almost to the point where I just didn't really know how to ride her. Almost to the point where I just didn't really know how to ride her. I was really confused. Honestly, I was just like, wait a minute. This is this is very, very odd for her to be like this. <laughs> um, so we ended up getting a rail in the, I think it was the second or third jump, we got a rail in the Jumper Classic. It was one of the, one of the jumps, and it was the same jump, it's that St. Louis one, the blue one with the arches, and she just barely touched it and it fell. Like it unfortunately just is one of those jumps that like, is not forgiving. I mean, that's the one that was getting people all, all week, weekend. But um, the next classes I did were the 0 .85, 0 .95, and she got first and second in those classes. So she was really, really good. Um, we ended up getting a rail down um, in the first class, the 0 .85, 0 .95. Um, sorry, I'm just like trying to clean up my car. So we ended up getting first in, in the speed round and then second in the 0 .85, 0 .95 because we did have a rail. Um, it was the first rail on course and I just, I went up to it like really, like she hadn't woken up. Like it almost seemed like she was tired, but she wasn't. Um, she just was so calm and I was so confused. So we went up to it and we just didn't have enough pace. And I think it kind of surprised her and she was like, oh crap. But the rest of the course went really, really well. She was just so, so great. Just not great riding on my part, unfortunately. Um, we're rehydrating today with coconut water. But 
either way, I'm really happy with how they did. I'm so proud of both of them. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little little vlog. Um, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. There's flies in my car from this weekend still. Um, be sure to hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.